Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 22, True Acceptance, Total Allowance. One of the very profound realizations that I got to fairly early on in my seeking history, in my journey of awakening, is the recognition, the realization that whatever is present must have already been accepted by existence itself. Now why is this crucial? It's crucial because, or it was crucial to me at least, and I think to many seekers, because what we tend to seek for, and what I sh myself was seeking for, was to find that state, that pure state of being, right? That pure state of where our natural state is always shown to us. It's always obvious to us. So I was trying to recreate that state in a sense. I was trying to replicate that. And one of the most uh, famous sort of tools or spiritual suggestions is that of acceptance, is that of letting go of resistance, which is a perfect it's a perfect instruction, but then to somehow accept what is. Now, I tried this for months, I tried this for years in a sense, and what I came to was the realization that everything that exists, everything that appears does not actually need my permission, it doesn't need my resistance nor my approval. So whether or not I felt accepting of what is, that itself too, whether or not I felt acceptance, was already accepted as part of the whole picture of reality, as part of the completion of the all that isness of creation. So I discovered very palpably, very experientially, as always, that's what's important, experiential. So very experientially, I tasted and I saw that what appears right now is already appearing right now. And whether I accept it or not does not change a damn thing. So when I realized that, I cut myself some slack, a lot of slack. I gave myself permission to simply relax into noticing that everything is already allowed. Everything is already accepted. And so again, this last chapter of the first course is all about softening the edges that you may have developed in the more masculine approaches of the previous chapters and allow you to simply read and relax into the acceptance that's already here as to make it more of a quote unquote habit, a conscious habit to relax effortlessly into what's already here and to see that everything that comes up for you, every emotion, every thought is by nature, by the very fact that it appears, it's already accepted to be exactly as it is. It's already allowed to be. You can simply relax and line yourself up with that realization, which is already here. In instead of trying to accept your emotions, trying to accept other people, trying to accept that you don't like certain things, trying to accept what happens around the world, etc. Instead of trying to accept, simply notice that apparently these things exist. Appearances of all kinds exist. If they exist, if they are made manifest, which in a sense on some level, all possible appearances are already manifest, whether they're experiential for you yet or not, doesn't matter. In existence, structurally speaking, every potential appearance that could ever possibly be created is already created because there is no time from the all that is level of consciousness. Now, however, in your experiential sense of your everyday life, you may still try to accept certain things. But if instead you can simply, again, relax for two to five seconds or as long as feels natural, take a deep breath. Hmm. Yes, in a sense, let go of your resistance in that moment of your thoughts, of your ideas. But instead of then trying to accept the appearance that it comes up, see that it already is accepted. And not only that, but it has been granted permission to be exactly as it is by all that is itself. Now, one of these tricky things or balances that then needs to be learned is then what is a difference between a preference and resistance? And our preferences, should they be avoided? Should they be uh, suppressed? Should they be transformed? Should they be denied? Or is preferences actually part and desires part of the natural flow of existence and can somehow true total acceptance, total allowance, a state of true acceptance, can it somehow coexist with my preferences and can somehow preferences still make sense? So in this lesson, we'll tap into that a little bit, but mostly what we'll tap into is simply to really ground yourself in the realization so that you may never forget that everything that is, is already granted existence by existence itself. 
So it takes it out of your hands. You can simply relax and know that all is well.